Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch You Want and thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Omega Speedmaster HBSIA Coaxial Chronograph Numbered Edition. You can see this titanium solar impulse inspired Omega Chronograph on our website, WatchYouWant.com. Purchase it there and if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. You can also click the card in the upper right hand corner of this video at any time to see our full listing for this watch with extra photos, accessories, and of course full pricing. On my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. One can see that while this is the asymmetrical Omega Speedmaster professional style case, it is not the same case. This one being 44.25 millimeters across its round, as opposed to 42 for the original Moonwatch. Now, it's also remarkably thick with a cantilevered bezel. It's not going to slip easily under a tight sleeve or dress cuff. From the top of the crystal to the back of the unique case back, it's actually 16 millimeters thick, so it's got a little little bit of girth to it. And although the lugs themselves are fairly compact between extremities, the real measurement here, because it does have rigid conforming end links, is from the outermost point of the rigid horn to the corresponding point on the other side. And when you measure between those two lateral distance, you get 55 millimeters. So it does have a full-sized, even oversized, modern sports watch stance on the wrist. However, because it is inspired by a groundbreaking solar aircraft program, Lightweight materials are part of the appeal and part of the package, so it's rendered entirely in lightweight aerospace grade titanium. That gives it a lightness and a wieldiness on the wrist that actually belies the size of the case and the thickness of the case. Now it's on a superb three link Omega bracelet featuring alternately brushed and polished segments to give a little bit of differentiation. The style with the brushed portions in contrast to the polished portions means that although the three link design does evoke Rolex's oil Oyster. This one's just a little bit more ornate, a little bit more differentiated with gorgeous visual articulation thanks to the, co the contrast. Now when you look at the back, it's beautifully finished in a functional sense, which is to say there are broad gaps between the individual links, so it does a great job of avoiding pinching skin or pulling hair. And it's linked to a single swing arm twin trigger deployant clasp, which you can see is engraved with the name of the aircraft Solar Impulse, as well as its call sign HBSIA, which uh, stands for Hotel Bravo Solar Impulse Alpha. So that's what the nomenclature stands for, HBSIA being the first of the two Solar Impulse aircraft that first flew in 2009. Now the case back itself is worth a little bit of a shout out, because it does feature the image, the profile of the Solar Impulse aircraft, as well as the HBSIA call sign, and a sort of interpretive land and sky profile, as you might see on an artificial horizon instrument. Now this is key because Omega was one of the main sponsors of the Solar Impulse project, and remains so to this day. Moreover, you can see a significant feature of the numbered edition. You can see that this one is number 2169. It is not a limited series in the sense that there is a given number. It is a numbered series in the sense that each individual watch in that series has a serial number within the series. It also has a general Omega serial number to place it within the continuity of Omega sports watches and dress watches manufactured in general. Now, Besides the titanium, the watch features a clever use of carbon fiber, a key structural material in the Solar Impulse aircraft, and you can see that the majority of the dial is printed upon a woven carbon fiber base. Now you do have countersunk sub-registers for the Tri-Compax chronograph. You also have an Omega Flightmaster inspired second time zone GMT hand right here. Now it moves at half the speed of the local hour hand, so you have two independent time zones, and one of which being 24 hours in its cycle can effectively be used as an AM PM indicator. If you want to set both local and reference hour to the same time, then the reference hour becomes an AM PM indicator. If it's simply a remote time zone that you're tracking, you have that AM PM distinction. Now the watch features an Omega Caliber 3603, which is a very highly elaborated Valju 7750, but modified to include a coaxial escapement and upgraded with a 52 hour power reserve. Now it's very crisp, in operation, the pusher feel is superb, and you can also see that the sweep of the seconds hand upon stopping and engagement is very smooth. It really is a tactile success. This is a completely different animal than the typical 7750. It's been hot rodded, so to speak, for the special Solar Impulse Edition. And while it is an aviation themed watch, it is nevertheless 100 meters waterproof, and this 
achieved with a non-screw down crown, so it's quite easy to set the time, set the second time zone, set the date, or simply wind the watch on demand. This is a versatile timepiece, an upbeat, cheerful, and memorable special edition. The combination of the unique materials, the brushed and polished titanium, the brushed portions looking almost like burnished metal or gun metal, the dial, carbon fiber with unique calibrations, and that upbeat, cheerful, combination of black, white, and the orange accents makes this a distinctive face in the Omega Speedmaster continuity. Now, the Speedmaster, one could say, as the professional, is the icon of Omega. This is a unique take on an immortal classic. A little bit bigger, automatic winding, featuring a sapphire crystal and a second time zone. This is a watch that deserves consideration for those who are burned out on moon watches and want to add a little bit of variety to their Omega collection. You can see it, and you can buy it, on our website, watchyouwant.com.